Hi, this is a poster we made to raise adolescents' awareness about stress management. As we know, Hong Kongers have been ranked one of the most stressed population globally, and about half of our secondary schoolers are found to suffer from high levels of stress, according to a survey conducted by the Hong Kong Federation of Youth Groups. Under this worldwide pandemic, all of us are more prone to stress than ever. Studies have shown that the most commonly reported sources of stress are school, family, and peer relationships. So on the top of our poster here, we have lockdown tension, interpersonal relationships, and academic pressures. The question, feeling anxious, irritable, or tired, is meant to address the common stress symptoms in a tangible and easily recognizable way. Most of us are too caught up in living a fast-paced life in Hong Kong that our students often overlook or bottle up their emotions and feelings. So when they feel relatable to these feeling words. Or with the stressors here, they would hopefully take a moment to direct attention to their feelings and be interested to take this quick test, which enables them to further understand their own feelings. The QR code will lead our students to this website. After answering all the items, the medically revealed results will give them some idea about how much stress they are dealing with in their life. Over here, we would like to emphasize that stress is normal. And short-term stress indeed brings about certain benefits, like boosting our immune system, making us more social, and improving learning. This way, students do not feel like they're incapable or abnormal for not being able to handle it or having struggles with it. Then we point out that it's important to address the symptoms when they get overwhelmed by an intense level of stress, as chronic stress and the serious consequences could be a result of unchecked stress. And here, right in the middle, is the key takeaway of our poster: reminding adolescents to be kind to themselves and to practice self-compassion. And with this green waves pattern, it draws the reader's eyes to the lower part of the poster. So this leads us to the bottom left corner here, where we have incorporated easy to understand coping strategies to help them understand resilience, primary and secondary control strategies in layperson terms. Primary control strategies aim to alter the stressor directly, but when the problems are uncontrollable, it's more effective to use secondary control strategies and focus on inward adjustment of personal attitudes, beliefs, or expectations to adapt to the situation. In the face of adversity, we encourage adolescents to employ positive reappraisal, and that is to reframe the stressful situation in a more positive way. Goal modification to adjust their expectations accordingly, and self-care to cope with stress and improve their integral well-being. It's not about eliminating our stress or our anxious mind, but about changing our relationship with them. And so, our self-care menu on the right includes a number of items they can do to care for themselves, allowing them to realize it only takes a few minutes of their day to make a difference. It feels less overwhelming if they're out of time, and it gives them manageable options to work up to bigger ones. They can take deep breaths, meditate, express their feelings with a journal, go for a walk, or eat a balanced meal. Up here, we have images of different types of hobbies and activities for students to expand their interests and discover new things that they may not be able to think about before. And with the last item here, we encourage students to talk it out and connect with their family, friends, or teachers, as it helps them sort through the problem and release built-up tension. At the very bottom, we invite adolescents to connect with us on the online platform Instagram, in an effort to create a supportive network for them. With this Instagram account, kindness to yourself, we would create posts. Stories and live broadcasts from time to time to spread positive vibes and remind them of self-care, self-compassion. So our content will mostly be about strategies to cope with stress, anxiety, or depression, and tips to maintain mental health and well-being. We would also actively share the thoughts, ideas, and stories received from the adolescents to promote a sense of relatedness and reinforce the idea of normalcy of stress. They might find other piece stories relatable, and when they see the tips and tricks, 
shared by their peers on how to alleviate or regulate negative emotions, they would become more motivated to engage in this community and to practice taking care of their minds, bodies, and souls. As you can see, our poster is designed with a light pastel green backdrop, and the entire poster is green themed. As green symbolizes nature, tranquility, growth, and renewal. It promotes harmony and health in a calming way. Green is also linked with getting the green light to go ahead, so it has an association with taking action. The overall design of the poster is simple, uncrowded, with sufficient pictures and minimal word space so that the poster looks attractive and easy to comprehend. So hopefully this poster can raise their awareness on recognizing their feelings and manage stress in a more positive manner so that they can prevent the development of psychosocial problems that would internalize or externalize their behaviors in a serious way.